the reasons for the decisions at the weekend, uh, when the science speaks so starkly, plans do need to change. Will the First Minister be reviewing the range of indicators as we learn more about the new strain of the virus? And on hospitals, at least 135,000 operations were cancelled earlier this year in the lockdown. And we know that for safety reasons, hospitals have limited the number of elective surgery operations since then. But I'm concerned about reports that ever greater numbers of operations have been cancelled, that some hospitals have cancelled all non-urgent procedures, and that some NHS boards are considering following suit. So what can the First Minister tell me more about that? And does she expect more NHS boards will cancel all non-urgent operations in the near future? First Minister. Uh, we were already uh, reviewing the indicators. I think I set that out in my statement last week. So we will continue with that uh, process over uh, the Christmas period. And uh, obviously, we'll come back to Parliament with, with the outcome of that. We were uh, taking the opportunity to review the indicators, but also the, the, the content of each levels. And as I said today, this uh, new development makes it all the more urgent that we look at the content of level four restrictions and whether uh, the current restrictions are sufficient. In terms of uh, health board uh, capacity and uh, decisions on elective treatment, we want as much elective treatment to continue. We want to get back to normal in as much of that as possible, and that is a priority. We uh, discussed that uh, at the Cabinet uh, meeting that we had earlier today. Uh, but this does depend on our ability to suppress this virus. To put it bluntly, uh, the more patients that require hospital treatment and intensive care treatment for COVID uh, and the more staff uh, that uh, are required to support that. And of course, the, the greater the levels of infection, uh, the more hospital and NHS staff, staff generally are likely to be off sick because like the rest of the population, they are more likely to be having that, then the less able the NHS will be to do uh, normal uh, business. But we are supporting the NHS to get that balance as right as possible. I cannot guarantee that no NHS board or no hospital will have to postpone elective treatment, but we, we are trying to support the NHS through this as much as possible to reduce the backlog of this year and to stop that backlog as far as possible rising any further. But I suppose my closing point here would be a plea to everybody. All of us can help the NHS right now. It goes back to the early part of this pandemic when we all acted in a way that was to protect our NHS. The NHS needs us to do that again. It needs us all in our personal behaviour to do everything we can to suppress this virus. That's what uh, all of us can do to try to keep our NHS safe.